Hey everyone, Tenja here. With the start of September, we have a new month of the trading post. So let's take a look at the items and see what we got. Starting off this month, if you complete your traveler's log, you'll receive the mount, the Krusty Crawler. This mount is a recolor of the Snapback Scuttler, and it's still pretty unique. And it is the only mount available on the trading post this month. First up is our big ticket item of the month. It's the trusty treasure trove. We've seen this on the trading post one time before, and that was back in March. I've seen a couple characters in-game actually running around with this, so some people obviously bought it back then, and it doesn't look too bad on them. But if this is something you decide you're going to buy, it's going to run you 750 tenders. Our next item is an ensemble. It's the Swashbucklers Buccaneer Slops. Again, these were up on the trading post, but this time back in February. I did pick them up the first time around, and I've got to say, I've used them as a transmog a few times. And if you decide this is something you want, it's going to cost you 650 tenders. But don't forget, if you watch Twitch, after September 5th, you'll be able to get a recolored version of these for free. Next up, we have a pet. It's Slive. He is an Astro Wyvern. We do have a few other Astro pets in the game. We have a dragon and a calf, a puppy, and a rabbit. So this could be a nice little pet to add to your collection. The price on it is only 650 tenders which is only 100 cheaper than the Spectro Tiger Cub. As you can see, I still have it as a frozen item, so I'll probably buy it this month. Next up, we have a shield. This is the Home Brewer Sampling Crest. This would have made a really great Brewfest item. Kind of a shame they put it up on the trading post, but if you're interested, it's only 500 tenders. And since dwarves are portrayed as drinkers in all fantasy settings, this seems like it'd be great for them. Our next item is a three-piece set. This is Paladins only, and it's the armaments of the Light Avenger. If you buy this, you're going to get a shield, a two-handed mace, and a one-handed mace. All three of the items are pretty nice, and at a price of 500 tenders, it seems like a good deal. The next set we have is the Priest-only three-piece set. This is the Secrets of the Unnamed Cult. With this, you're going to get an offhand book, a main-hand mace, and a two-handed staff. Again, the price of these are only 500 tenders. Overall, it doesn't seem like a bad deal. Our last three-piece weapon set that you can get is the Blood Onyx Blades. With this set, you're going to get two daggers and one sword. These are all rogue-specific, and just like the Priest and the Paladin Weapon Transmog sets, the price on this is only 500 tenders. If you break that down, that's like 167 tenders per item, and that's why I'm saying the price on all three aren't too bad. Our next item is the High Scholar's Grand Staff. So this is a brand new transmog, and Blizzard just released a set on the shop called the High Scholar's Arcane, which, when paired with this staff, makes a pretty nice looking set. The price of this weapon is 500 tenders, which I think is a little high for any weapon, but if you do decide to buy the transmog set off the shop, you may want to look at getting this staff. The next three I'm going to do together, and that's because all three of them are the transmog sets. The first one we have is the Blood Onyx Uniform. That is the Rogue Specific set. The next one we have is the Plate of the Light Avenger. And that is the Paladin Specific set. And the last one we have is the Silks of the Unnamed Cult. And that is the Priest Specific set. With each of these sets you'll get three pieces. You'll get the head, the shoulders, and the waist. And if you decide to buy any of the three, they'll cost you 450 tenders. Being it's only three pieces, you'll have to mix and match with older sets to actually make a set with these. But I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that already know what they want to do with them. Our next two items are both back pieces. And they use the same graphic, the only difference is a color variation. The first one we have is the Ancestral Sky Chasers Totem. And the second one we have is the Ancestral Stonehoof Totem. These are both a recolor of the Ancestral Bloodhoof Totem that you could receive as a quest reward from the Legion expansion. And the price isn't too bad at only 250 tenders. But do keep in mind, if you buy these, they're only usable on a Tauren and a High Mountain Tauren. Our next two items are pirate hats. The first one we have is the Dread Admiral Spikehorn, and this we've had up on the trading post before. And the second one is the Iron Tide Raider Spikehorn. This one uses the same model as the Dread Admiral Spikehorn, it only has different coloring. I do like these bikehorns, and as you can see, I picked up the first one when it was up earlier, and I'll probably pick up this one now that it's coming up. The price is only 175 tenders, so they seem like a good filler item. Next up, we have a couple Deerstalker caps. These are both new models added to the game. The first one is the Burgundy cap, and the second one is the Yellow Tweed cap. These are pretty nice looking caps, and if I did roleplaying, these are something I would be interested in grabbing. The price on them are only 150 tenders, so again, they're great little filler items. Our next item is an offhand. It's the Watchman's Flare. This was up on the trading post a few months back. So if you missed out on it, and you were wanting it last time, now would be an ideal time to grab it. And the price is only 100 tenders, so this is a great fill item. 
Our next item is the normal cloak sets. Of course, we get two of these just about every month. I think they've only missed one month since they started. And this month, we're going to get the Vagabond Sunny Threads and the Wanderer Sunny Trappings. These always make great filler items at the end of the month, and they only cost 100 tenders. And the last two items I'm going to do together because they're both weapons. One is the Gorian Mining Pick, and the other one is the Gently Used Cleaver. These obviously are the best deal you can get for the month, at only 50 tenders apiece. And both of them are new models, so they may be something you want to add to your collection. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You can click on subscribe. Thanks for coming by and watching it. I'm going to send a hi to my best friend, and you all take care.